Podcasting from Vinegar Hill, right by the Brooklyn Navy Yard. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. morning as usual if you are on the podcast listening it is definitely the morning you probably hear by the birds chirping i thank you very much for your support for your continued listening it's your first time welcome and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button well anyways i would like to get straight into my title are you right or are you just prideful i speak about this since there's so much people out there that love to be argumentative, that have to get their point across. I'm definitely one of them who likes to get their point across. But I want to hammer home the fact that just because you may think or appear to win an argument, does that mean that you are really right? So much people have a platform now, and so much people have so much information out there. Again, you know, with the whole social media thing, with the internet readily available to you. And then, of course, easily finding other people that share your same insights, foresights, taste, opinions, whatever it is. More than likely, you will find a support group or even an audience that'll support where you're coming from. But then you also have to take in consideration that you don't know everything. You also have to take into proper consideration that you could possibly be wrong at times. I try myself, I try myself to be humble when I approach certain things, certain talks, what I talk about here. I don't want to be accused of misinformation. I really don't want from my heart to even suggest anything that is totally wrong. And I will look to always correct myself, you know, if I'm proven otherwise, or even if I find out through proper verbal engagement, whether it could be in the comment section somewhere or even talking to someone. And I know a lot of times people get their emotions attached and things get flared and things get out of control, but you always have to try your best to be focused. Easier said than done with most things. <clears throat> I'm going to piggyback on that as well because you have to think about when people are sharing things on social media because you know you've heard the term fake news and you've seen Facebook putting people in Facebook jail and then there's a lot of things that are spread that's misinformation and that's a very dangerous thing whether we believe it or not even when we think it's something that you know oh I just posted something I didn't know it was real or not you never know who that's that's going to affect you never know who is that going to discredit like case in point someone did share with me uh something about a, a chick-fil-a picture and it was an employee saying we back the blue so of course in this current climate now early well mid 2020 uh amid coronavirus and people being unemployed uh, we're at as dave Chappelle said we hit critical mass with people being fed up of the inequality and treatment of black people so when we saw when i saw this picture with a chick-fil-a person having a shirt that said we back the blue we like oh wow that look like there you go they don't care what anyone says it's about the cops and they just care about the cops you know if you did wrong you did wrong whatever you don't you don't deserve justice anyways after a little bit of investigating and researching online it turns out that that shirt had nothing to do with the climate of what's going on that's actually a local practice from that actual location in chick-fil-a where i believe it's either in support of local law enforcement possibly but not for what we think it is or i believe it could be in support of a local school anyways it's like we have to take extra care because i'm even guilty of sharing things where i didn't know the whole story so we have to understand, like, even though we put a point across, I just use social media as an example, but we have to make sure that we are right because we could be doing a lot more damage than we think. And the fact of the matter is we could just maybe be doing damage. And then when we walk away, we have no idea what kind of destruction we left in our wake as a result of it, you know, and going back into making sure that you're right and not just prideful, we have to make sure we take the time to have intellectual humility it is plain old humility basically but that's a term that i came across when i was looking up something related to what i was going to talk about on my topic so 
it's one thing to be in engaged actively, and I guess and you could say in an argument or discussion or debate. It's healthy. But then what's not healthy is that we don't practice enough humility. When we have humility, we could we need to understand we have to listen as well. And the other person may have other facts that we may not have been privy to before. The other person may actually point out that what we're saying is probably totally untrue or false or misguided. We have to understand that we'll be wrong sometimes. And the one of the biggest things here that I see with arguments is that people always want to get the last word in and they always seem to want to make you look stupid uh, because it's been used as a tactic is still always all the time. If you can discredit your opponent in an argument that somehow makes you the winner because, oh, I made them look stupid or I made it look like that these guys don't know what they're talking about or I was able to one up them with a snarky comment all the time. And people think that's what constitutes as winning an argument or being right. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Just because you know how to out talk someone, just because you may know their weak points doesn't mean that you are right. Because I've heard many people discuss many things and they talked loud, talked over people. They were spitting facts, but sometimes those facts had nothing to do with the actual situation or, or the, the subject of conversation or debate. They just pull things up and it made the audience react. When you get a reaction of the people, people think that that's what constitutes. No, because a lot of times I look on debates on YouTube where I hear people actually talk and I'm like, but you're not really adding any value to this. Actually, what you're saying, I, I'm actually more lost before when I actually listen to what you're saying. That's why we have to always be humble. We have to have a certain amount of accountability when we talk, when we speak, when we engage, whatever we, we want to talk about. We want to be, of course, the most knowledgeable in that subject or field or whatever it is. We always have to remember that our words have effect and impact, even if we're not going to be around to see that impact, whether it's negative or positive inf impact. We have to apply humility and we are lacking an insane amount of humility, especially in this country, because, you know, Americans have a lot of pride and a lot of Americans have, unfortunately, a history of getting what they want, how they want. You can say what you want to who you want, when you want. And people say that's the Second Amendment right. That's the Second Amendment responsibility. That really wasn't meant for you to just spout off at the mouth and just curse anyone out who you want to or to say who you, what you want to say, how you want to say it. That wasn't the intent. The intent was to make sure that certain ideas and certain voices were not supp suppressed by other people. The whole idea was to make sure that people had the, had the chance to be responsible to share their comment or whatever idea it, it, it was they had in their mind and their heart. Not for you to just go willy-nilly and just go shooting off at the mouth. We have to make sure we take full responsibility in what we say, what we do. I'm always saying that, well, I just want to take that time to tell you guys that, you know, basically, you know, no stats today, you know, no, no real lookups or, or, or information because we all know what happens. And if you're that person, you have to make sure you reflect on yourself and say, you know what, let me take a step back and know that I don't know everything. Let me take a step back and know that somebody may be out there waiting to correct me because I'm going to be totally wrong. Be humble. You will grow from it. You feel better and you have a better aspect and outlook on everything. You, it'll make you chill out and relax stop getting so wound up anyways i hope i wound you guys up anyways with that thought provoking podcast make sure you check out the rest of my content and my podcast on my website www.brooklynbaritone.com you could also check out the rest of my content on youtube my youtube channel is brooklyn baritone make sure you guys check me out on the google play store the itunes apple play store i'm also on instagram and facebook i'm also on linkedin under Corey ashley and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel brooklyn baritone anyway that's what i got for today thank you guys for listening i am out be blessed walk good you will hear from me next week peace